Welcome to another project by Team Elmers. An undersized culvert is being replaced near the south arm of Lake Charlevoix on M66, two miles north of East Jordan. The increased size of the culvert will allow more water to flow through, decrease soil erosion downstream, and provide a more natural and hospitable environment for wildlife. This portion of M66 will be closed for the duration of the project. Drivers, please allow extra time and seek an alternate route as we work towards completion. The new culvert is a built-in-place multi-sectional aluminum culvert. Once fully assembled, this culvert will be a single structure resembling an upside-down half-pipe. Because of its shape, the culvert can span a wider area while still being relatively low profile and maintaining a high load capacity. Although the clever geometry helps keep a smaller vertical footprint, it's no slouch as far as size. Spanning 16 and a half feet horizontally and 11 feet vertically, it will be a big structure to say the least. This isn't the first time the state of Michigan has utilized this technology. Here's a clip from 2015 where Team Elmers installed a similar culvert on I-75. But what makes this project special? How are these culverts different from any other? Well, on I-75, usually have, we don't see much of the metal culverts. Typically, it's a box culvert, uh, concrete in style. Um, but So these are kind of unique to the situation, and they're a lot bigger than normal. That culvert's horizontal span is only 11.5 feet, making it look like the little brother to the 16.5 foot culvert being installed under M66. Even with this increase in size, our expected timeline to completion is only two months, ending in early September of 2022, weather and schedule permitting. To minimize the amount of time this portion of M66 is closed, the underground utilities were routed around the construction site beforehand, reducing installation time. As you can see, we are already hard at work digging down to grade and installing both permanent and temporary sheet piling around where the culvert will eventually rest. To get more frequent updates on projects like this and others that might affect you, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok where we post regularly throughout the week. And don't forget to check back here next week for more watchworthy content. Until next time, stay safe out there.